Well, good evening and welcome to First Presbyterian Church. This is our Thursday evening prayer service. My name is Kelly Lipinski, and I'm so glad that you joined the body of Christ around Morristown and South Jersey and all over the country even for this time of unified prayer. It's such a gift to be able to gather through the Holy Spirit, knowing that we are not alone, even if we sit in our homes alone. It is such a gift to be able to know that God's love and hope and light breaks through our dark moments, a global pandemic, and anything that we may be facing, because we get to come before God and gather together through the Holy Spirit and be unified in the love of Christ and the hope of Christ and the peace of Christ. We have a few announcements before we begin tonight's service. We are starting a new sermon series this Sunday, September 27th, and we hope you will join us online for our live stream at 9.30, or if you are able in person for our 8.30 outdoor worship service in the courtyard. We are focusing this next sermon series on generosity and discipleship, and we're calling it Giving Lessons. We have some fabulous guest speakers as well and as part of this sermon series, and we hope you will join us for that. Also, this Saturday, the 26th, we are going to be praying as a church, praying as a country even. It's a fabulous opportunity in which we get to seek the face of God in these trying times. And there's more information on this event that's happening, not just in the United States, but actually around the world if you go to our website on the events page. Also, we are so excited that happening this Sunday after our live stream service in person at 11 a.m. to 11.45, it's our Family Fun Outdoor Sunday School. This is for families and young children, and there will be Bible stories, games, crafts, and fun. There are lots of safety precautions we've taken to make this a wonderful and safe gathering. And we know we have really missed out on opportunities to see each other face to face. And this is a great chance to do that for your family. So please contact Holly Ashudo, our Director of Children and Family Ministries, if you have any questions about that. But we hope we get to see you at 11 o'clock this Sunday morning. If you are looking to connect and plug in and grow your relationship with God, and not only God, but also be formed with friendship and, and relationships with new and old faces, we invite you to go to our small groups page online. There are over 11 open small groups right now for men and women and for young adults, and it's fantastic to get to connect with each other online or in person. So please check that out. This Way of the Week is brought to you by the wonderful Dave Favelle, our Interim Youth Director. And I hope that you will enjoy his video on what it means to grow faith. He has some really wise words to share tonight. Hey, FBC. My name is Dave Falvell. I'm the current interim youth director, um, and I am on for this week's Way of the Week, uh, which is number 14, Grow Faith. So take advantage of every chance to form your faith through small groups, classes, and personal study. Be a disciple and look to learn from those who know more of the Bible and Christ-like living than you do. Then look for opportunities to share what you've gained with someone else. Um, so recently I have had um, the absolute joy of seeing God working um, in this guy who is committed to growing his faith. Uh, it's the most, one of the most encouraging things um, <laughs> to witness. Uh, I just can't stress it enough how blessed I feel to see to see somebody striving and pushing to to grow their faith to get to the truth in Christ um, and I want you all I want to push you all to grow in your own faith uh, and to help others grow in theirs as well uh, a life a life in Christ is like swimming uh, you can do it all and like you can be great in the shallow end but to get the fullness of it you got to go in the deep end um, some people they can just dive in others wade in others they still cling to the wall um, but be honest with where you're at personally, um, and commit to grow. Simultaneously, be patient with where others are at. Some people are afraid of jumping in, and that's okay. All right, some people, they have to slowly take it in, step by step in the shallow end. But what we ought to do as Christians, as people who follow Christ, is we just got to love them. 
We have to love everyone where they're at, wherever they're at, on their journey to get to know Christ more. Um, and do what we can to help them take just one step closer, one step more into the deep end. Have a good one. Let's come together before God and join our voices in the opening response. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. He is the light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us, Lord, for it is evening. And the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness and illumine your church. Come, my dear friends in Christ, let us worship and adore God. In the quiet, in the stillness, I know that you are God. In the secret of your presence, I know that I am restored.
to my words, oh Lord. Consider my meditation. Hearken unto the voice of my cry. My King and my God For unto thee will I pray And thou voice shalt thou hear in the morning O Lord, in the morning will I direct my prayer Unto thee and will look on. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my meditation. Hearken unto the voice of my. My King and my God, for unto Thee will I pray, and Thy voice shalt Thou hear in the morning. O oh Lord, in the morning will I direct my prayer unto Thee. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. Blessed are you, O Lord, Redeemer God. You destroyed the bonds of death, and from the darkness of the tomb drew forth Jesus, the light of the world. You delivered us from the waters of death and make us children of light, singing alleluias. Now we are dancing to the music of new life. Pour out your spirit upon us that our dreams and visions may bring us ever closer to the kingdom of the Lord Jesus Christ, our risen Savior. Through him and the Holy Spirit, all glory be to you, almighty God, this night and forever and ever. Amen. Sovereign God, you subdue the arrogant and raise the humble. You feed the hungry and reveal the poverty of wealth. Help us to praise your name in all times and places that we may be faithful servants of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.
As we prepare to pray together, I'd like to share with you a few prayer concerns, including joys and sorrows from our congregation. Annette Emerson has suffered the death of her sister Margaret. Margaret lived in Syracuse, although this summer she spent several weeks with Annette. Pam and Steve Engel ask that we pray for their nephew, Tim, who is still recovering from severe injuries he suffered in a car accident. This past Sunday, I baptized Guillermo de la Cruz, the youngest child of Courtney and Fausto. And so I'd like to ask you to remember Guillermo, that the Lord would indeed bless him as he continues to grow in faith and knowledge of the Lord. But I also want to ask you to pray specifically for all of our children and the ways in which we love and support them. Please pray for Susan Canuck's brother, Ricky Felcher. A few weeks ago, he underwent intestinal surgery in North Carolina. He's now experiencing complications and remains in the hospital. Dr. Eric Trazio is the new pastor at the St. Matthew Lutheran Church just up the street from us here in Morristown. He began his ministry a little less than a month ago, and I'd like to ask you to pray for Eric, his family, and for the St. Matthew congregation. I'd also like to ask you to remember the work of our associate pastor nominating committee as they seek to find a candidate who will serve as our associate pastor. Please also remember tonight Dave Favell, our interim youth director, and our young people. You've already heard from Dave, and he's doing such an amazing job in loving and serving our young people. This past Sunday, we had our first Uh, youth event was held outdoors and there were more than 70 young people who came and were welcomed by Dave and a team of youth advisors. I've invited you to join me on Thursdays for a day of prayer and fasting. Leslie and I have begun a fasting from dinner after dinner on Wednesday night until we break the fast on Thursdays. As part of this day of prayer and fasting, we're committed to worshiping and praying with you in our evening prayer service. I'm drawn to seek God with fasting and prayer in this time when the nations are in turmoil and our own nation is in crisis. I'm seeking the Lord and I invite you to do so with me in a spirit of humility as I ask the Spirit of God to reveal my wrongs, my sins, my failures. As God's Spirit brings those to my attention, I am then seeking to repent of those wrong attitudes, actions, and words through a spirit of repentance. And so with God's help, I will seek to live, think, and feel differently. I've created a guide for fasting and prayer because... For a lot of us, like me, it's a new practice. And so if you go to our website, to the sermon series page, or to our events page, you can find that fasting and prayer guide. Uh, You can also call our church office, and we'll be happy to forward a copy to you. So I'm calling Thursdays our day for fasting and prayer, beginning today, September the 24th, and continuing until the week before Christmas, December the 17th. Friends, let us be joined together in prayer as God's people. Will you pray with me? Almighty God, our maker, defender, redeemer, and friend, you who sit enthroned over the flood, father of all mercies, have mercy on us. We are anxious, exhausted, angry, and sad, We need your peace that surpasses understanding to guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Be tonight and tomorrow and in these days our refuge and our strength. Be our very present help in this time of trouble. Jesus, you are the light of the world. Bring the light of your gospel to the ends of the earth. Use us with our present and leaders of all nations to be instruments of your freedom, 
justice, and peace. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, you are the bread of life. Use us to give food to the hungry and nourish all of us with your saving word. Stir up a generous and compassionate response from our lives and from our congregation, particularly to meet the needs of those who are hungry in our community. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, you are our way, our truth, and our life. Hear our prayer for the church, for all ministers, and all the people of God. Guide us and all who follow you in the way. Deepen our appreciation of your truth and renew us with your life. Tonight we would bring you family members and friends who live in spiritual darkness and in the brokenness of sin. Father, draw these ones we love to you, to Christ. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord God, you are our blessing and our joy. We thank you for all the blessings of this life, for those who love us, for occupations that fulfill us, and for leisure that restores us. Make us faithful stewards of your bounty. Generous and gracious God, please prepare our people to respond with gratitude and their whole lives in surrender as we prepare for Consecration Sunday on October the 18th. Lord God, teach us to be generous in all things. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord Jesus, you are the resurrection and life. We remember before you all who have died. Receive them into eternal life and raise us with them into the joy of your heavenly kingdom. We pray for Margaret and for Annette as she grieves her sister's death. We pray for Lori Doran and for her husband Frank, her daughter Jamie, and her sister Joanne, and again for all who grieve Lori's death. We remember, Lord, those who grieve tonight. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, you are our hope and our strength. Be close to all who are alone, rejected, and give courage to those who are without hope tonight. We pray, Lord, for those who are depressed, those who are struggling with addiction, those who are seeking healing from trauma. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, you are the good shepherd who gave your life for the sheep. Hear our prayer for all who are in need, sorrow or sickness. Bind up the injured, heal the sick, and inspire those whose faith is broken. We now call out to you the names of those for whom we are praying. Lord, in your mercy, hear our cries and particularly remember with your favor and your healing, Tim and Ricky. O God, who is for our redemption, gave your only begotten Son to the death of the cross and by his glorious resurrection delivered us from the power of our enemy. Grant us so to die daily to sin that we may evermore live with him in the joy and the power of his resurrection. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. O Lord, our God, accept the fervent prayers of your people. In the multitude of your mercies, look with compassion upon us and all who turn to you for help. For you are gracious, O lover of souls. And to you we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever. We've offered these prayers that have been spoken by our lips 
or are offered to you in our hearts. In the name and for the sake of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, his name is above every name. It's in his name that we have prayed, for he has taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. and Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Spirit, Lord, we come, we gather together to lift up your name, to call on our Savior, to fall on your grace. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Spirit, Lord, we come, we gather together to lift up your name, to call on our Savior, to fall on your grace. Hear the joyful sound of our offering as your saints bow down, as your people sing. We will rise with you lifted on your wings. And the world will see that our God saved, our God saved, there is hope in your name. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Spirit, Lord, we come, we gather together to lift up your name, to call on our Savior, to fall on your grace. Hear the joyful sound of our offering as your saints bow down, as your people see. We will rise with you lifted on your wings. The world will see that our God saves, our God saves, there is hope in your name, morning turn. sound of our offering as your saints bow down as your people sing we will rise with you lifted on your wings and the world will see that our God saves our God saves there is hope
Friends, as we prepare to offer the sending blessing to send us off into our night, I do remind you of the altar of stones that we are building right here on the stage in Muller Commons. Many of you have placed stones there or have asked me to place a stone there as a sign of your commitment to seek the Lord in new ways in this season when our nation needs us to do so. We have more stones, and if you want me to put a stone for you, I'd be more than happy to do so. Just contact me or our church office. Now, will you join me in our sending blessing? May the Lord, who is our peace, give us peace at all times and in every way. Amen. Bless the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Thank you.